time once again for the Framework Fortune Bitcoin and Altcoin Daily Update. Right away we're going to hop into Bitcoin. After the whole Doge crash of Saturday, it seems that everything is pulling back. A lot of these cryptos are breaking out and testing resistance again. As you can see, Bitcoin had a sharp drop here in the past four hours from 55,000 down to almost 53,000, cracking all of these support areas. It is trying to find support again, but because Bitcoin has not pushed for a new high yet, we have to make this downtrend because this was another pivot point. So we are still on the majority uptrend with support below us, but there is a downtrend at the moment that Bitcoin still needs to break out to try to make some new highs. The way it looks today, I would say towards the end of the week, we might be able to see it curl up and break back over 60,000 if we continue in the bull run. Ether also just recently had a big drop from 4,000 very quickly down to 3,500 in the last four hours, but has since recovered almost back to 4,000. So I'm not exactly sure what is going on with this drop on all these cryptos, this extreme drop, and then the quick rebound. Probably somebody unloaded a bunch of them. But this triangle either was forming, did break out, so that's no longer there. And one good thing about this drop is it confirmed this 3,500 support area because as soon as it touched there, it got bought right back up. It is above the current short uptrend at the moment. We do want to see if that holds up because we did crack it for that little quick drop. Looking at it on the five minute, that drop happened in 15 minutes and then the rebound happened in about 15 minutes. So about 30 minutes, some huge selling volume came into the market, but even wilder, huge buying volume, more than the selling volume came back in to buy it back up. So if you guys know what's happening there, just let me know. Uh, I'm pretty sure probably all of my swing trades got stopped out if every coin is looking like this with this big drop. And Litecoin, same thing, this big tail here, but it just confirmed this upward trend line. So that is nice to see. We'll see if it continues to hold up and maybe start curling back up to break that 400 area again. Litecoin did get all the way up to 413. Dogecoin still in this downtrend until this downtrend breaks. Dogecoin will not be bullish in the short term again. I still think it's pretty bearish. It's probably going to test this trend line for a couple of days and then either drop off or if the crypto market heats back up, we might see Dogecoin come back up some. I'm not expecting anything crazy out of Dogecoin, so we'll see if it ends up fading off for a while or if it comes back strong. Dash, one of my longer term holds, is still in a downtrend. You had a readjusted there. It did break that little short term downtrend and have a nice move up, but now it's made this new pivot point for the downtrend, and it looks like Dash is in a nice big triangle. Currently, it is below it but it did also confirm these support areas down here. I think it is possible we could see Dash pop back up into this triangle before it breaks out. If it doesn't come back into the triangle though in the next day or two, it will probably crack and go down to this bottom area of 340, maybe 320. StormX also just cracked the uptrend as well. It did try to hold this four cent area of support getting bought up again but it is currently under that trend. So until it gets back above that uptrend, it is pretty much done and could continue to sell off. TRB, one of my swings. Yep, definitely I got stopped out. I traded this up and ended up getting it back in this again at 135 last night. It did make a run to 164, but I thought it was gonna have more in it and I did not lock out. So it ended up coming back down and hitting my stop loss. I've not had any time today to check my cryptos, but I am pretty sure that I, I got stopped out there. Algorand, which is one that you can stake on Coinbase and earn some extra interest, is still looking pretty decent. It's been in this big triangle, currently in this downtrend, but back down to some mid-range prices of that $1.40 area. If this area doesn't hold, we could see it back to $1.20, maybe $1.10, but I like it down here in these areas, maybe even in this $1.40 area. As you can see, it is still pretty bullish and hasn't even come close to this trend line except back here in April. RLC has been running and ripping pretty hard. This was one of the new ones that got added to Coinbase. I was not expecting this one to be the massive runner. I saw it and I was like, eh. But as you can see, it has become a massive runner. It went from $3 at the beginning of last week all the way up to 16 here in the past eight hours. So this thing is explosive. 
we will definitely be keeping an eye on it tonight right after this when we go into the live stream crypto day trading so if you are one of the ones who got some of this yummy rlc rip why don't you let me know down in the comments but that's pretty much it for the update today kind of a slow day like i said join us right after this in the crypto live stream day trading if you have any questions or you can leave them in the comments below i'm your host ben until tomorrow